Hey, Reefing Fam, what's up? March here, Fragbox TV. Um, wow, you almost caught him. Oh, that was quick. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, you guys caught us. Wow, okay, just be careful, don't hurt him. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Wow, okay, I was hoping we were gonna. That was not that exciting. At least we caught it on camera. What are we doing today? We are taking this stupid fish out. If I. Um, can I do one video, please? I'm asking for YouTube permission to swear, so like we can just like tell the kids to go play outside, um, and you can maybe muffle your ears because sometimes I get upset and I'm I'm really censoring myself. This stupid, I'm gonna use the word stupid, and I'm gonna use that's it for my vocabulary bad words. This stupid scopus tang, loser. You're a loser fish, okay? Um, he was in here, and he was living with a yellow tang, fine for two years, no problem. They live together, happy, healthy. They don't do the best job at um, cleaning algae. They're lazy and useless. But anyways, I didn't think it made sense to have a yellow tang in here. Yellow tangs are hard to get. They're expensive. They're, it's a nice fish. And the blue light, it, it masks how cool the fish was. You couldn't even tell it was a yellow. Anyways, long story long, I take the scopus, I take the yellow, and I toss them in here because now we're starting to rebuild this tank and get the fish population going. The stupid fish start fighting. They start going at each other. So anyways, for me, the yellow is a nicer fish than the scopus. We're going to take him out. Where are we going to stick him, though? Uh, stick him where the sun don't shine. One? Loser fish. Uh, I don't know, actually. You know what? we got to figure it out. Damn it. So the thing with tangs is you can't just pop them into a tank because if there's already a population of tangs, they're gonna, it's hard to get, to get them going. And these all already have tangs in them. Why don't we stick them downstairs in the new, um, that new tank that I set up for incoming. It just has a fox face. Yeah, maybe we just run them down there. Anyways, this is not what today's video about. It's not about swearing and tanks. It's about the new, let me show you here, oh, new Australian corals that came in last night. So this is going to be a little bit of a, how's it going guys? A little bit of a, maybe it's going to sound kind of like it did yesterday because I was talking a lot about the corals, but now they're nice and open and they're starting to sell fast. So the store opened, people were kind of waiting outside and they're moving quick. So I was in a rush to go and grab the camera and hopefully record some of it Hi, dear, before, um, before it's all gone. So I'm going to turn off the flow here with my trusty Apex. Thanks, man. Have a nice day. So this is cool because you can press a button and what this does, it's going to turn off all of the pumps hooked up to the Apex for whatever amount of time you set it for. So I think I have it set for 10 minutes. It's called a feed mode. And I'll talk about that in another video if you want to learn more about the Apex. Today's video is about coral. Where do we start? There's a lot going on here. Beautiful shipment. Lots and lots of new stuff. This isn't even all of it. So if you watch some of the other videos I'm setting up, or I finished setting up that larger frag tank downstairs in the basement. Is he bothering you? No, oh, no. okay, cool. Yeah. Celebrity on the oh, yeah, Mr. So Diggs. Yeah, he's a cool <laughs> dog. So in the basement, we set up that tank to hold more so that we could bring in more coral and um, trying to keep up here a little bit more organized as we get into this new number system so that it's easy to um, see how much corals are and if they're sold and then over here on the iPad you can quickly kind of go and find the prices stuff. This is a new thing for us and I didn't think people were going to use this. So this idea actually came from one of our staff members here who worked at another store that uh, shut down but they used to have these iPads set up like all around the tanks and he said people would come in and literally go to the iPad and then shop off of this and I thought that was the dumbest thing in the world. I couldn't wrap my head around it. When I go to the store, I don't want to touch a screen on an iPad. I want to go here and you know, I want to look at these nice rainbow acans and, and acanthophilias and I want prices here. I would, I don't know. I thought it was dumb and I didn't think anybody would use it. And he mentioned it for years. He said, when are we doing the iPads? When are you doing the iPads? Anyways, I gave in, we set them up. He was 100% right. People are drawn to this thing and they'll literally go here and say, oh, where's this? Where's this? Where's this? And they shop in the store off the iPad. I just thought that was cool. Maybe um, not as interesting to some of you viewers just want to hear me talk about corals, but kind of part of the channel, I, I kind of give you that background and business owner information as well as the coral info. So that's, I guess, my first sidetrack of the day this uh, new implementation of the iPad. And if you guys like it, cool, give me a thumbs up. And if not, uh, the iPad's gonna stay there. Anyways, let's get into it. That's enough ranting. This is what we came here for. I guess we'll start, maybe we'll start in this corner and we'll go like this. And then we won't miss anything, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Save the best for first, look at this. Ooh, Rhodactus. These are purple. I guess they're purple. I guess they're sold. Maybe we shouldn't even be talking about these. Someone grabbed these right away. So I was up here late last night uploading them 
and uh, a lot of them sell pretty quick. I, I swear you guys sit there and just press refresh on the computer because sometimes as I'm uploading them, I'm watching them sell. So I don't know how you guys do it, but it's pretty cool. This is a donut. This is a, not a donut. This is a button scoli. So scoli mia astra. Oh, we're going to do our pop quiz after this on Dylan. This is a great time. Dylan's trying to remember all the Latin names. I'm okay with them. He's pretty good. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab him after and we're going to do a little pop quiz on these. So this is a, it's like a scoli. So this is more like your traditional scoli over here. Very popular coral in the hobby. There's a scoli and then this is a button scoli. So they come um, quite a bit smaller and I think uh, I've only seen them from Australia. This I think is Sympodium, but it's a color that I'm not really accustomed to seeing. Um, I might have to go over the list and see. I think it's Sympodium coral. It's weird, it's soft. It kind of looks like a stubby Kenya tree and then when you touch it, it retracts. Oh, look at that. It's kind of fun. We'll do this one again. Let's piss off the corals today. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's Sympodium. And this is going to be part of Dylan's quiz. Some nice Blastomusa, some donut coral, uh, tons and tons of open brain. So what I tried to do with this shipment is like, if we got 10 in this variety, um, I put a bunch of them downstairs, basically for storage. That tank is like coral storage. So stick them down there. These are, these are nice smaller sizes. Um, like I said in the video yesterday, we try to order some of them smaller just because of a lot of our customers have smaller tanks. So this is like a great, you know, appropriate size for 10, 15, 20, 30 gallon tank. Um, like this, smaller elegance corals, you know, for the bottom of the sand and then smaller plate corals. So you can enjoy like these kind of cool LPS corals, but like at a fraction of the size um, and sometimes of the price too, depending on the color. But we do also bring in these larger, like these elegances are crazy. Really, really nice. They have these like glowing yellow, almost orange tip and super healthy. Remember I talked about it yesterday, five days transit time. Torches look phenomenal. Australia has some of the nicest torches. The Euphilia glabarensis, these are really cool. I'm going to probably keep one variety for the, um, for what tank is that? What we call it, display tank, yeah. Because it's starting to get going again and the torches look good. I'm gonna do an update on this one um, soon. I'm not quite there yet, but I've added back some of the torches. They look great. I'm gonna take a different approach on this tank. I'm gonna talk about another video. I did kill an acro and I don't think the water's ready. I think I'm rushing it a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my foot off the gas with this, with this one and try and focus on something else. And sometimes, you know, you just let the, what's wrong with these fish today? They're all fighting. You lose your fish. Stop it. Ah, oh, fish warfare. Okay. Stressing me out. Let's go back over here. This is cool. Somebody just came in. They were asking about this. Very, very, very nice hammer. Unusual green gold stemmy. Somebody grabbed it right away off the site. I don't know who grabbed it, but congrats, man. That's a nice piece. Um, he was really, uh, really adamant about this one. And I, I didn't have anything really even close to offer him. This is a litho which is something we don't see too often. I absolutely love these corals. These are long tentacle plate corals. You always hear me talking about them every time we get a shipment. Oh, let me show you a cool one. These are nice, small purple, yellow ones. So it's like a plate coral, but you get this cool wavy action. So they look like torch, really easy to keep. They go on the sand bed. I put them in almost every, every tank I set up. Look at this one over here. Oh, I don't mean to make you dizzy with the camera work. Check this one out. Wow. This one's big. Um, I can't ship this. If you're local and you want a showpiece, stunning monster of a coral, like this is this is a, a very nice piece. It's probably, yeah, maybe the size of my hand, maybe six, seven inches across. Cool kind of green luminescent base with these purple tentacles. It's nice. It's a big piece. It needs a big tank. I would say 100 gallons and up. Um, very, very cool piece. We did get some nice larger ones in on the shipment. So if you're looking for something a little bigger, like I, like I said, I can't, um, can't ship them though. They're too big to ship. Beautiful hammers. Um, I believe they're sun coral. They kind of look like dendro, but they're not. I'm pretty sure dendro are, um, it's illegal. I think, I think to import into Canada, correct me if I'm wrong. If somebody out there knows, um, I don't think CITES is covered for dendro. Fathead dendro is not allowed to import. I could be wrong. These are Balanthophilia, I want to say. A solitary sun coral, so they're pretty cool. This Aiken, uh, not so happy. Oh, maybe this is why. Oh, shit. Son of a businessman. Look, he's got a piece of charcoal, damn it, sitting in his mouth. Maybe I should turn off the camera and then do this. Sorry, guys. You guys are with me. You're along for this ride. You buckle in. Oh, let me get it out. You know what? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's a very bad sign. Look at that. That's probably from that little piece of charcoal because this side looks more or less okay. Wow. Okay. So what did we learn today on Fragbox TV? A little piece of charcoal 
can kill a beautiful, expensive, healthy Aiken. That sucks. Okay, well, we're gonna frag it. Sorry, buddy. I told you guys, I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Some other nice Aikens, more Aikens, Aikens, Aikens for days. I ordered a lot, and this supplier has some beautiful, beautiful Aikens. I think this might be a Favia. Check these out, Alvia Pora. Wow, very nice. I, like I always say in the other videos, the camera is never going to pick up how nice these are in person. I don't know what this is actually. I don't even remember ordering this. I think it's Parides. Could be actually. I don't remember. Sometimes, yeah, my memory's mediocre. Seven out of ten. Some nice. Uh, Micromusas over here, like uh, a can. Oh, what is that? A can or micromusa? One other. The leathers take a couple days to open. So you see here, they look like crap. Um, oh, with the exception of this one, he looks pretty good. But these ones are going to take some time to kind of come around. These uh, Cynaria are very cool, or Cynarina. Sorry, I'm always saying it wrong. Cynarina. I didn't even know we got bubble coral. Look at this coral hiding upon coral. This is the. Oh, I'm not even going to attempt the Latin name on that one. It's there, but yeah, I'm not even going to try. Some more long tentacle plates. Some favias, Christmas tree worm rocks, beautiful ones, lots of lots of worms. You see that one that just popped in? I think this is going to be the piece I keep from the shipment. So usually uh, we get an order like this, a couple hundred coral. If I don't um, restrain myself, I'm going to end up keeping a lot of them. So I have this rule that I'm allowed to keep one and only one. Sometimes I break the rule and I'll do two, but I'm, I try my best because otherwise I'd keep this one. I would keep absolutely this Ghanipora over here. I'd keep this torch. I would keep a lot. I would, ooh, ho, 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 ho. You know what? Hold on, I might change my mind. It might be this one over here because it's not often that we get a coral that I've never seen before. So I've been importing corals for the better half of 10 years. Um, bring in a shipment, I don't know, maybe once a month. Thousands, thousands of corals pass through the store. And uh, it's rare. It's rare that something comes in that I've not seen before. But Mother Nature is always creating new variations. And that's the cool thing about the saltwater hobby. It's never, it's never. Hey guys, I got a better idea. Forget, forget what I want. Let's ask Tia. Let's ask Tia what we should keep from the shipment. What do we keep in here? I want that. I'm thinking the hammer or I was saying the Favia. You ever seen that variety on that Favia? Oh, uh, that one looks like a blaster. That's cool. I know. It's yeah. different. I've never yeah. seen one? this one, this oh, one, green. this one. They're all crazy. This, you like that leather? Uh, yeah. Let's, I like it. It's like, not, it's not, it's, it's not worth, it, it, it's nice. I'm not trying to shit on the leather. This is a beautiful leather. Yeah. It's not open yet though. It's not the one I would keep from this whole thing. I think it's an Epthia, yeah. huh? It's pretty cool though. It's almost like starry kind of color. This is nice. A Canthophilia on the These smaller end. Yeah, I, was, I talked about them right at the beginning of the video. Oh, you know what they are? Uh, oh, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. The beginning of your pop quiz. Dylan. Huh? Dylan. Yeah. What is it? Pop Island Scully or no? No, Latin name, brother. Oh. Scully. Uh. what? <laughs> Go study. <laughs> you know what? These are. This is cool too. Blue. Those are. Yeah. Awesome. You know what? Maybe we should just keep them and fragging up. This is nice. Oh, you got it. Homophilia Australis. Yeah. This no, but this one. Oh. Jay's chiming in. This is you. But you. What did you say? Scolimia. It's homophilia Australis. No, it's not. It's Scolimia Australis. Check it. Check it. We don't know much about these Mosaleas yet, huh? We've started ordering them. There's not a whole lot on the internet either. Does anyone else know Mosalea? No, what's it called? Lata, Lata Stalata Mosalea? I don't know. The full name? It's cool. Mosalea Lata It's very cool. The Favias came in very nice. So did these Blastos. So did this Favia. Chalice. Very nice shipment overall. Some of the best. This is cool. You know what? This is a piece that's going to go unnoticed. Dylan, can you just molest it a little bit so that I, I want to see the skeleton? So it looks like two hammers glued together. It, yeah, but I don't think he re even really knew what he was getting. It's actually, um, how can I explain it? It's fu it's fused. Yeah, make the make the tentacles close so I can sh show the YouTubers. Oh, sorry, I mean to make you dizzy. So it's not just like one glued to another. It's like a different head that's fused into the same colony. It's really it's really rare and strange to see something like that. It's common to see. Um, Wholesalers and suppliers just take two different colors and glue them together kind of like what Dylan's done here Right here. He's just done a very nice nice job of a hammer garden 
A lot of nice hammers. Hammer is actually probably the star of the show on the shipment, huh? I saw one in the email that you sent out. I'm surprised you haven't mentioned anything like uh, the mushrooms. Uh, you, well, they're afterburners, but not... They're nice. Yeah, I don't know. They're brighter than usual, no? No, no, no. $3. Oh, okay. They're more pink than usual. Ooh, hard to please. The plate's nice. This is cool too. This is like <laughs> I'm a, a mushroom connoisseur. <laughs> you are, yeah. This is, likes the Hennessy. The Hennessy, the EXO, the VSOP of mushrooms. This is a nice blue plate coral. This is way more blue than what I see here on the camera. It's uh, it's truly a blue plate coral. Wait, mm -hmm. awkward for you. What is that? This? Yes. Oh, dude, easy. Is That's a coral. What is it? What type of coral? <laughs> dome. Dome plate. What's the Latin name? <clears throat> uh, hold no. on. Oh. It's coming. Okay. Yeah, easy. Yeah, I don't know. Fungia? <laughs> what is this? Fungia? No. What? Cycloceros. Yo, bro, uh, is it this pop quiz is for you, not for me, okay? <laughs> He's ter the tables have turned. Oh. Table. How the turns have tabled. This is like a wild. Um, that's, that's the same. The, that's the same as that. that? This is bad Talk for my ADHD. This is bad. There's too much. There's too, there's too much to focus on. Which one? Yeah, that's cool. And it's yeah, pinky, pinky, purpley. I think we see different colors, you and I. This. Uh, all of us. Yes. Let me come over to that side. It's too much coral. It's yeah. it's too, literally too much coral. I can't Just focus. Take it all home. <laughs> uh, yeah, take Just it. This thing. this is Alvi, right? Yeah. Oh man, that is a piece. Wow. I, how did I not see that? That is a that is a really beautiful coral. It's got some blue to it, huh? Mm -hmm. This is a, like a teal blue. This is worth um, yeah. This is worth holding on to, man. And how how cool would like an Alvi or a uh, Ghani dedicated tank be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be sweet. Yeah, the plates look really good. Hammers though. Hammers really. Plastic. Look at this. What? Is that even real? Yeah, that's real. These are so nice. Torch. Torch is stunning. Yeah. And then these are the wall varieties, uh, varieties of hammer. Thank so chorus. Cute. I know the little <laughs> plate so coral. Little. Lots of little, little, amazing, ultra cool little corals that um, Tia likes little corals. Talk about those Christmas tree rocks. Yeah, yeah. The color on these? No, those are not Christmas tree rocks. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? I was I was in the beginning of the video. I was uh, I was looking at them, and I wasn't sure. Oh, it is it is, huh? Yeah. Oh, they're are they like Christmas tree or are they, are they um, just parietes? Christmas tree. No. The hermits. The hermits. Um, the crabs. Barnacles. No, those are you can see. You can see the blue and the orange. Touch it. Put your finger in. Oh yeah, he's middle? right. Oh yeah. wow, it's like a. Uh, it's like a flat, it's not a Christmas tree rock, it's a Christmas tree plate. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. Um, so, if you attach that to your rock, are the worms gonna grow throughout your rock work? No one's listening to me. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. I think they do. I think that's what Mike was saying. He picked up a bunch and he put it on his rock, and they actually, like, the worms started to burrow through his existing rock work, so he's getting them everywhere. They actually, like, come out and sit on the rock, and doesn't the coral grow over them? I don't know terribly a much about them, and I'm not oh, upset they, to they say grow. that. I gotta. Yeah. Oh, these are cool too. I haven't talked about these. The clove polyps. Nice, fat ones. Very different than the ones we get from Indo. These are really, really long and much chunkier. Yeah, that se that I section cool. is just fire. These are the trumpet coral. You want to frag these actually? Okay. Yeah, take them downstairs. This one you have to cook. If oh, you see cute? something in this video that's big and you like you should message us and if you're local in Canada because you know we can only ship in Canada um, message us quick because Dylan a resident coral surgeon over here today is going to begin to choppy choppy start to work through these and get them down to more manageable sizes sorry what did you say he's, I thought it was one with these two acans very gorgeous amazing on this they're on the small side but the color is really wow small. wow yeah these are um I don't know would you call them rainbow ultra Ultra. ultra, yeah. It's hard to make the, the distinction here? between ultra and rainbow. I think it's like, Five. yeah, three to four color. Three is ultra. More than three, then you're getting into the rainbows. But those those names are so hoard out. Rainbow, the, <laughs> rainbow, 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 rainbow incinerators. That's a great name. I like it for the zoa. It's not rainbow. Three yeah, it's, it's it's incinerator. It's orange. It's green. It's nice. This should just be called incinerators, right? Yeah, so the, the word rainbow is used to describe, you know, really, really nice corals, but it's losing its meaning. It's losing its uh, its value because it's used um, sort of as a marketing thing to just describe everything. Rainbow this, rainbow that. Anyways, Dylan just fragged all of these yesterday. And you can see 
open and looking good almost almost right away. He's very, very skilled with the bandsaw. He does, I don't know, what percentage of the frags would you say you make here, Dylan? 75. 75, I do the other quarter, yeah. It's kind of split between us. I used to do all of it. Um, 100% all the frags were made by me and then um, Dylan is very good with the saw took a liking to that so he's kind of helped take um, a lot of the fragging off my hands and now he's, he's our surgeon he does most of it so if you bought a frag from us here in the store um, chances are Mr. Dylan has made that frag by hand takes him downstairs we can do videos on fragging if you guys want to see kind of more of that back end stuff you know maybe take it easy it's been a lot a lot of coral talk recently in the videos uh, look at this wow that is a coral if I've ever seen one. Look at the polyps on it. Crazy. Tia, I'm surprised you didn't say anything about this Ghani. You see the polyps, how long they are on this thing? Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Very nice. Yeah. It's magical. It's so cool. It's so cool. I wonder how big the skeleton is. I'm going to piss it off. Sorry. Sorry to the coral. Sorry to the viewers. I kind of love doing this. Is that messed up? That's messed up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Tickling corals? Tickling corals. <laughs> it's just so cool the way it retracts. Sorry, man. I know you're having a nice day. I just want to show how inflated they get. So the tentacles retract back into this um, skeleton like, not skeleton like, a skeleton base and then come out four to five inches from that base. This is a good candidate for fragging. Very easy, easy coral to frag and they, they fare well. Just about all the frags that we make, uh, sorry, that Dylan makes, they, um, they look good. What else can I talk about here? I think that's about it. We covered most of it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. The clams. Wow. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I mean, wow, wow, wow. This whole shipment. What do we call this video? Just wow. Amazing. What, what the clam? No. Oh, yeah. That too. Yeah. I don't know if it's photosynthetic. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's red. It's nice. Um, you think it's photosynthetic? Probably I'm gonna not. probably <laughs> not because most of the nice ones are not. Yeah. With the exception of these, actually, you want some nice big photosynthetic, easy to keep, super easy to keep photosynthetic gorgonian uh, purple whips over here. These are they're really big. Could probably ship them actually. I would feel confident shipping these. They ship well. Easy. Yeah, if you if you want one, I, I'm not gonna put them on the site, but if you've seen them in the video, they're super purple, dirty glass. I can't get a good shot of them. They're crazy, crazy. It doesn't get more purple than that. They look like like uh just very purple but these clams maximas came in oh this is nice maybe that's what i keep brown yeah nice. it's brownish but it's cool brown yeah it's very nice there's a baby one somewhere too exciting oh oh my god he's so cute hello and they're all um no they're not all attached but some of them are attached to these nice big pieces of rock very healthy shipped really good remember five days okay what are we doing with this nem rock it's not looking so hot I think today's the day, no? Grab today's the chisel, today. yeah. What is that? Hey, stupid fish, you know what? This is, is we're gonna change the name of Frag Box to Store of Dumb Fish. <laughs> because we just have the world's dumbest fish in every tank. And um, He's getting beat up. they're all getting beat up. You know what, these fish are useless. Uh, can we, we're gonna fire them, we're gonna hire new fish. <laughs> I think that's about it uh, for today's video. We kind of ran through this. Yeah, it's, I did feed mode so that I could do the video. I don't know which coral I'm gonna keep, so maybe I'll leave it up to you guys. Comment below, that'll be the question of the day. I think it's a tie right now, at least in my mind. It's, I'm, I'm really, really leaning towards this hammer because of the size and color, and if not that one, that really cool Flavia I showed you on the other side there, this is probably, it's probably gonna be the hammer, unless you guys talk to me. I don't, you know what, no, I'm torn. I'm gonna wait for you guys to respond. I'm looking for bigger pieces to get this tank up and going again. And I wanna do, I'm gonna take a different approach. I'm gonna do kind of, I'm thinking less coral, if that makes sense, just bigger pieces. So instead of doing like a hammer garden with like 12 different little ones, I'm maybe gonna do two or three on the larger side. And I'm gonna go, I don't know, I have this idea sort of in my head, I have a vision for it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it makes sense. It makes sense in my head. So we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. But in terms of this video, I think that's it for the episode. If you guys like the content, we try our very best to do a video every day, which is crazy. I know nobody else is doing that, but we're nuts. We're not normal. We're weird, strange, reef loving Canadians up here. If you like the channel, hit the subscribe button. It shows us that you like the content and that's it. We'll call it a wrap. Thank you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV.